Optimization is key when it comes to playing modern, especially in mill. There's a lot of incremental things that you can do to gain a ton of value in for information. And it doesn't really just come from your surgical and extirpate plays. It comes along with your crab triggers. A lot of times what people will do is just put the crab triggers on the stack and especially on moto, just kind of pass right through them. But it can actually be correct to put them on the stack, respond to the triggers with another set of crab triggers, maybe with a fetch land or field of ruin. And then in response to all of those triggers, cast something like an extirpate to take a card out of your opponent's deck or your hand that you want gone 110% and then start milling over the other cards. They can This can come down to two to three, sometimes even as low as one card extra being milled over, but that could be the difference in the late game between a win or a loss. Enjoy. Starting off with a not bad hand on the draw. We get to hold up Spell Pierce, then Crab, then Drown, or do we play Crab first? I mean... Okay, we'll keep it. It's kind of iffy. Um, lots of fetches, shocks, taking lots of damage off of this. Our opponent keeps a seven. Steam vents tapped. Okay. Uh, definitely not Death Shadow, at least. Um, I think I'm supposed to shock in a water grave, make my opponent think that I am. Oh, nope. Blind change. All right. <laughs> All right. That changed the whole thing. You just play the crab. <laughs> you just play the crab. Looks like they bought. Oh, yeah, because you can buy these on MTGO now. I saw it on the store. You can buy these now. All right, upkeep. All right, opponent. Flooded Strand. What do you got for me? I have no spell pierce. Kill my first crab. Temple Garden. Four color? Steam Vents tap was kind of crazy. Red and six? Is red and green. Stomp. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Fair enough. Uh, you play the giant next turn. I can just kill it, I guess. Um, am I supposed to hold up Spell Pierce here? Or am I supposed to preordain? I think I'm supposed to just preordain. I think I'm supposed to get pro. Oh no, 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 hold on. All right, uh, we are 110% holding up spell pierce. Ooh, baby. All right, okay, okay. Um, I can't remember the last time I got stomped, so okay. That's fair enough. I wasn't thinking this was, this was footfalls, but okay. All right, we hold it up. We hold it up. Hold up. Can't just let them have it for free um, on their turn, right? Yep. Sure. If they have it on our turn, they have to have force, right? That's the idea here. Gonna make them have it. I will interact. Yep. It's gotta have those three cards. Crashing footfall. Spell pierce. Attempt it. Force negation. Yep. Exiling Lorien revealed. Yep. It's what I was talking about in the video that are released earlier this week. Okay. Um. So that's fine. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh! I almost passed through. I almost passed through my whole turn there. All right. Go to second main. Go to second main. Um. We're gonna mill them out a bunch. Right? They use one force negation. They have an ardent plea. Right. So get an island. Uh, Battlefield luck. Oh, this is gemstone caverns. Okay. I was like, what is this? This is gemstone caverns. Okay. Um, okay. Drown one of these while they don't have like active counter mana up. Um, and then keep going. So I know that technically I was saving it for the Bone Crusher Giant, but this is like a more pressing concern. I'm at 12. Yep. Okay. Yep, you got another one on your main phase. 
That's where we need to start speeding up. Not going to be able to block them for long. Maybe if at all, because they have, they technically have lethal on board if they can deal with my crab. This isn't really doing much for me. So I am going to, do I pre, the thing is, do I preordain first? Maybe hoping for another blocker? I think I'm supposed to preordain first. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to preordain first. So look for options, look for options. It's just a tough matchup in general. Bought them both. Okay, there you go. So there's the crab. There's the two blockers. So they have to deal with uh, two of them here. And then I can Tasha's next turn. That's the idea. Yeah, I can Tasha's next turn. Hopefully that's lethal enough. Maybe they don't have the counter spell. I mean, I did get rid of one force. Leyline binding. Double Leyline binding is not fun. I am at 11. Get all the blue that we need. Okay, mill them, mill them. Another force out, but it's not promising. It's not promising. So I mean they're not gonna they're not gonna play spell pierce in this deck, right? So that is one thing, but main board mystical disputes, a potential. Um, and they still have 22 cards. So here's the thing: one of my crabs are dying. One of them's gone. Um I'm still like out of like stomp range. Um, depending on how I block this. I have to block one of these. I block one of these. One crab lives. Right? But I have to block block. Or wait. No, I'm not. Because then it's going to have trample. But I think I have to, you know, you mill three. And then I shock in it. Uh, I don't have to shock in the watery grave. But I could. Why would I though? What am I playing around? I can't play around Mystical Dispute. So if I block here, I take nine and I am what so I see the fire and ice. Thing is, do they have that? I guess I have to block here and I have to block here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can I can risk. Yeah, I don't think I can risk them having one more. Yeah. Them having like a lethal spell. Yeah, so I'm at three. So now I'm kind of free from um kind of, like unless they have double, like they have a stomp and a fire ice. But I don't think this Tasha's is getting me there, but I do have to throw it out there. Now, if anything, like it's the high variance card that's gonna get me there. Um, I don't think there's any card I can draw right now that actually works. I don't have like a main board and snaring bridge. Mm. So preordain is not going to draw me any, into anything that's going to win me the game. Other than Spell Pierce. Which could be worth it. No. Uh, but what is... Okay, so... But what does that really accomplish? Because then I have to shock myself in. I have to... I mean, this, this way, I guess it plays around the most possible. So I preordain first. hilarious um no i can't i can't use the visions okay tasha's an attempt at lethal an attempt at lethal nine cards only yeah i mean yeah <laughs> No, um, definitely not going to happen. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, tough matchup in general, but we can we we can beat this. We can beat this. Um, so it's not going to be a Knight of Souls Betrayal type of game. Ensnaring Bridge, Soul Guide Lantern, Extirpates. Um, I think we can take out Subtlety. We can definitely take out Tasha's. Um, I think we're supposed to take out the Fatal Pushes as well, but keep in some of the interaction i'm also supposed to take out like the three visions but then keep one push because the one push helps because i can kill like i can kill the bone crusher giant i can kill subtleties um i can also kill a lot i can kill a bunch of stuff so it's it's worth value and if i'm going to be bringing in ensnaring bridge i don't really want to be drawing cards that often um at least push i can throw out like 
I can throw it at a creature and it doesn't need to kill the creature, but the spell will still quote unquote resolve. It'll just fizzle. Um, so I think this is fine. I think that's what's nice about like having preordain. You can you can board in and staring bridge and feel confident that you can still have like good selection. You can still feel confident that you have good selection. Uh, Crypt Incursion probably isn't worth it. Knight of Souls Betrayal is funny. I'm, I'm trying it in this league because I want it as, as an additional piece against Scam to deal with Bowmasters. And 1-1 um, one, one tokens and everything. But I think it's also funny against uh, the Yawgmoth decks um, in a small way. The small niche case is there. I, look, I just, I like Knight of Souls Betrayal. I understand that... You could probably play something like Damnation or Engineered Explosives in this slot, but I want to bring it back. I want to bring the card back. I want the card to be good. An opponent's going to take a while to decide. I, I definitely have to expect Endurances and everything. And you know what? Additionally, Soul Guide Lantern is a nice way to just cantrip. If you get rid of all of the Endurances, it's a nice way to cantrip. And then honestly, if if I'm able to, so first priority is definitely get the rhinos, right? You get the combo out. You want to invalidate large parts of their deck. That way, if they cast the cascade spells, they reveal their whole deck and we can play with perfect information. On the die roll. Um, yeah, this is fine. Uh, they're generally not going to thought seize me. They will play a counter spell war, so that's fine. I'm going to start things off with a preordain. Get it done early. Um, we have four lands, which can be a little tricky. Okay, and they already got... They already got that on us, which isn't fun. Force Negation is going to be a card to... Yeah. Yeah, the Exile Leyline Binding. Which is nice. That's, that's a bit more information. Like, that's like less cards that they have. Are on the draw. I'm gonna preordain. Uh, bottom top that we'll draw it. It's fine. Next turn we can. Uh, probably want things we can cast right. So I'll probably flooded strand to thin out the deck a little bit, and then I'll get blue source. Preordain soul guide, crashing footfalls. Okay. In general, things are happening. So I want the Soul Guide Lantern to resolve. Uh, that's funny. So we're going to play the Soul Guide Lantern. Yep. And then... Let's see here. Get an island. We're going to preordain. And then, what are we really looking for? Again, castable magic cards. Archive Trap is technically not what I'm really looking for. Uh, Ruin Crab is nice. I will say that. So, so at this point, with the Crashing Footfalls coming out, I think I largely want to just go for Endurance. So I think both of these actually have merit. So we're going to put top, top. Both of these actually have merit and, and they empty out our hand a bit more. We're probably not going to ensnaring bridge next turn. Probably like I'm, I'm expecting a force. If I had a spell pierce, I don't. I mean, yeah, regardless, I would definitely wait until turn four um, to do anything like that. Just empty my hand as much as possible. The footfalls isn't hitting me anytime soon, so. Could hit me this turn, though. Could tap out and just go for him. Interesting that they don't just go for it now. Like the fact that they're not going for it now shows me they have force negation. Or they want to bait out interaction. Because they already have a footfalls coming down on the resolution. Soon. It's a ways away. It's like, you know, two and a half holes turn cycles away. So it's not that big of a problem. Actually, you know what I could do? Endurance is a problem, but I have Soul Guide Lantern. Extra P could just hit Force Negation, and that way my Snaring Bridge is like free. It's like free, free. It's not. It's not a bad option. I'm gonna get hit for a bunch though. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play the Field of Ruin. We're gonna try and mill them as much as possible. We're gonna. 
Hmm. I think we have to fetch shock, which is the tricky thing. Yeah, so we draw the fatal push, ruin crab, get force and negation, actually. I'll resolve, they already resolved one of them. Another one's coming down the line. Um, could actually try and bait it with this. See if they, see if they go for it. See if they go for the force. Could actually try and bait it with this. Because that makes my whole job easier. Because then I could fetch, fetch, in response to bolt triggers. Ha ha. Extra paid that, get more value out of my mill. Yes, that is exactly. Okay, perfect. So let's, you know, stop all stops here. Trigger on the stack. I have to fetch shock though. Trigger on the stack. Um, I'm just trying to optimally mill them. This doesn't give me the most information. Yeah, this definitely does not give me the most information. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. I mean, I'm going to be taking like five. I'm going to block. I'm going to block one of them. Bone Crusher Giant is unfortunate. The full suite of Bone Crusher is really unfortunate. One endurance, though. One endurance. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. One endurance. I think I think the way I boarded though is fine. Like if we if we only have to worry about one endurance, I mean the endurance is gone. Perfect. So this Soul Guide Lantern is just gonna cantrip, which is nice. Next turn they have a Bone Crusher Giant. I'm gonna take like I'm gonna go to nine potentially seven. Right? If they just I mean I, I don't say potentially I am going to seven. They are gonna they are gonna hit me with that that Bone Crusher. I don't really have much else to worry about here. Like truthfully. They're not really like leyline binding. Yeah, leyline binding is really the next big concern on my side. Yeah. In which case we just hope to draw multiples, truly. <laughs> Stop me. Yep. So they drew a shardless agent, which is nice. Yeah, they. it's nice that they drew a shardless agent because that means they just have a stomp. They have to top deck a ley line binding um, to really get anywhere. What I can try and do is then with this field of ruin, take out the glittering cavern. Um, so let's do this. Let's do this. Play the ensnaring bridge, one card in hand. It's it's an iffy sideboard against this deck, I understand. But I think I think it can work in a pinch. I think it can work in a pinch. Top deck Leyline binding though. Okay, good. Oh, the hollowed fountain doesn't help. Okay, I was hoping to allow Field of Ruin to get something going for me, but top deck doesn't help here. Um, I'm not going to use the soul guide just yet. I don't want to trap my handful of cards if I don't have to. Um, play this. So let's see if they stomp the Hedron Crab. That's too, that's too life gained. If they, if they actually fall for the bait here. It's insane. If you stomp the Hedron Crab, you're insane. You're, okay, you're insane for this. It's like not even worth it truly um next turn i think we will hit the soul guide lantern okay so again we just have to dodge ley line binding and then we can force a game three just have to dodge ley line binding and then we can force a game three crashing footfalls finally coming off of suspend you have mega lethal. Let's let's call it that. You have mega lethal opponent. Do you have the ley line binding? Oh yes, another turn, another turn, another turn, another turn. Okay, all right. You have me you have ultra uber mega lethal. <laughs> all right, soul guide lantern. 
I don't know. I still don't want to pop this. I, I still I still don't want to pop this. I'm really nervous, like putting extra cards into my hand. Okay. Uh. I will wait. I will wait. Cause I actually I'm like okay. I, I okay. I'm trying to play really careful because I understand that you know what I'm in the I'm in control here. And I have to play to my outs, right? So if they top deck Leyline Binding, this, at least this hand right here, gives me two opportunities to draw Soul Guide Lantern if I need to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this now. Two opportunities to draw Soul Guide Lantern if I need to. They didn't go for it there. That's fine. Let's cast this. One card in hand on both sides. Dangerous game, dangerous game. This doesn't allow me to draw and play Soul Guide though. No covered island. Not not many lands left. I actually should have gotten the swamp because that that makes now my flooded strands are dead draws. I actually should have gotten a swamp there. Sure. That's nice. Okay, that that is nice. Um. Only one ley line binding. Yeah, that that is nice. So that's three ley line bindings. I can't remember if it was a full play set, but they have three cards left. Um, the thing I'm worried about here is mystical. Oh no, the mystical dispute is gone. Yeah, I think we're largely okay here. Snaring Bridge is definitely like it's nice. It's nice here. It's doing a lot for us. The problem is we're gonna be okay. Nice, love it. Um, yeah. I mean, we're back on. Ooh, we're back on the draw. So it's not looking good. It's not looking good. But we forced a game three, which is important. Cannon Snaring Bridge, do it again. Like I'm literally about to. I'm literally about to swap Tasha's for Snaring Bridge. I'm literally about to put Tasha's in the sideboard. I, I'm actually so sick and tired of Tasha's right now. Like hot, t hot take. The card is so bad right now. The card is so bad, but I get it. Like it's okay. So obviously it's uh, it's an auto win against decks like uh, scales. So hardened scales, easy dub. And then although the deck can like be faster than you, that, that is the one big downside. You can't just lose very fast to scales. Um, it is one of the only ways to beat burn. Uh, so it's useful in that game one scenario but wow these open leagues like i don't know i'm not i'm not fully on that chain of like dropping tasha's but i'm not fully there yet but uh does this hand do enough it could be fast enough this hand honestly could be fast enough they mulled a six i'm gonna keep actually this hand could be fast enough like with the archive trap, they'll fetch. They have Lorien if they want to look for islands too. You go crab on one, and then you just like keep going, right? Like they could, they could fire uh, a crab, which would be interesting instead of like icing a land. Okay, they've kept a six, and they're still at sixty cards, which is nice. Which is nice. Temple Garden, no fetch, unfortunate. Crashing footfalls off the top. Yeah, pass through. Go to my turn. Jiliac. This is the way to beat Mill. Ooh, the hand gets better. Wait, oh, the, the, the hand gets better. Wait a second. Okay. Double archive trap. Hold on. Hold on. Crashing footfalls. 
All right, opponent. What do you got? Oh, flooded shot. What? <laughs> Yo, wait, what? Hold on. What do you got for me? You go fetch, tap on my land. Go fetch and tap on my land. Ah, fine. Um, I'll actually. This might actually be a game of racing. Um, obviously, this is playing right into endurance. Um, but my my gut reaction is that's what I need to do. My gut reaction is that's what I need to do. Save targets always yield. So I'll wait for them to fetch. I'll wait for them to like do action. Like I don't I don't want to lose a crab here. If I'm going to go the route of racing them, then I have to let my mill triggers count as much as possible. OK, so now in response to that, we are going to do this. Yeah. Potentially hit things that. Uh, oh, they haven't searched yet. Yeah, yeah they haven't searched yet. Big thing is if they have endurance in their hand. Gonna mill them for 26 cards. They're gonna look for a card, put it out. So they, they're gonna be at 40. 26 puts them to 14 cards. Hallowed Fountain. Okay. Cast them. Sure. Use all your cards. That's fine. I don't care right this is this is less interaction for future spells that i'm gonna need to resolve right, that's all that means okay then the one of endurance is gone um i think we can race them i think we can race them so that that means they potentially still have a force in hand right they probably have a, a combo piece here but the one of endurance is gone one beseju is gone they just had to play a beseju um to to go off here so very possible 17 cards get revealed that's actually huge so what else do they have in their 17 it's a lot of cards left out of their deck so in general okay it's not perfect information but it's still a lot of information yep shardless resolves i mean island forest is out like i could actually do a lot here with uh field of ruin I could actually do a lot with Field of Ruin here. Well, that's tempting. Okay. So what I might do here is actually interesting. So in response to my triggers, could hit force. Hitting force actually might be hot because I have to have more. I know there's a bunch of Lorians as well actually might be the good move i'm gonna get my swamp I'm gonna get my swamp this allows me to be as offensive as possible and i think i can afford a swing here too oh no 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 um don't always yield i'm gonna hit your i'm gonna hit your blue source actually now that your island is gone i'm gonna hit your blue source that way you're not hard casting anything crazy um you want to get it you got a lorian like i said grab a swamp you know what if i get oh, they have another one eh? all right that's fine extirpate force extirpate force is what i want where's the force yeah extirpate force that way my spells resolve so does stuff like my ensnaring bridge. This is this is just getting optimal, right? This is this is just getting optimal. I could like obviously, oh yeah, okay, good. They had a force in hand. Great. Um, so that's just stripping something out of their hand. Ardent plea uh is interesting. They will okay, they're still low on that. They have one more mystical dispute. It's not much, it's actually not that crazy. But, okay. So now. So they have one mystical dispute. 
One Crashing Footfall is a Brazen Borrower. So the Mystical Dispute and Brazen Borrower and Besaju are really what we're looking for. Everything else is all right. Leyline Binding as well. Okay, now we just all through. So one Leyline Binding, Brazen is gone, Mystical Dispute. So they still have the Besaju and one Leyline, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. It's getting there though. The, the end of the world is getting there. <laughs> so they're gonna art in plea. They're gonna draw a card. They're gonna art in plea. They're gonna go to eight cards. I can, um, I can actually, I have lethal. If I don't block, I have lethal. As long as they don't draw bone crusher giant, but they don't have red. Wait, I just have lethal on the kickback. I just have lethal on the kickback. Oh my God. Yes. I just have lethal on the kickback. Let's go. What do you have? It has to be Leyline Binding. Arden Plea. No, I just have Lethal on the kickback. Let's go. Opponent. Opponent. No, opponent. The comeback. The comeback is possible. Play this just in case I miss something. <laughs> like truly, just in case I miss something. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice, we did it. Yo, comeback is crazy. But that's what you that's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta optimize your triggers a little bit, right? Um then you get you get a lot of value, right? Like those cards that I milled could have been like two force negations. That's two more cards they could have had. Like it's stuff like that's important. So get your value, get your value. Yep. Mill them through, mill them through. All right, you're done, opponent. You got one card in hand. Is it a mystery endurance that I know nothing about and wasn't paying attention to? If so, I have the drown. I have the drown. I have it all. Yes. All right, good. Good win against an unfavored matchup. GG's.